All right, so now we are done setting up our Shelly Smart Home installation for our customer. We have created the Shelly account in the Shelly Smart Control app. We have added our rooms. We have added our devices. We have made the device configuration. We have added scenes. We have added uh, a thermostat functionality, the, the, the floor heating control. We have added some alarm zones. We have added groups. Um, so everything is ready now. Uh, everything is set up and we are ready to hand over the installation to the customer. There's a few things that we would like to do before handing over the installation to the customer. First of all, we want to make sure that uh, the customer has all of the necessary information so he's ready to use his shell installation. And this is why we made this document right here. So as you know, um, I started adding my Shelly uh, demo account here. Now I'm going to change the email to my customer account by changing the email address right here or in the Shelly uh, 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 app. Uh, the account will now be transferred to uh, the customer. So the ownership will be changed. Before I'm doing that, I would like to ask our customer for permission for me to access the installation. Uh, so if there should be any problems in the coming days, if I made a mistake, sometimes it happens, then I can uh, remotely access uh, the, 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 the app or the installation that I made for my customer and I can correct whatever he's asking about. Or maybe he just uh, finds out uh, that he would like to use his uh, is a buttons different you want to make small changes small adjustments so then it's very easy and flexible for me to change it from my office instead of driving to the customer so i would like to uh, ask for permission to uh, enter my shell installer code inside the app so i will have the access that's the first thing we are going to do um uh, before we can do that, we need a Shelly installer account. Uh, I've already added here my installer code, uh, but I, of course, uh, would like to ensure that you also have your own Shelly installer code. So to be able to get your own Shelly installer code, you have to open a browser. Inside the browser, go to installers uh, slash portal uh, .shelly, uh, cloud. This is the page that you will see when you log into or access this website. So you have to uh, press register to create a new account. Just follow the steps. Uh, you need to enter some uh, personal information for your account and you need to enter some company information ab about your uh, installation company. When you have created the account, you will be able to find yourself on the installer map. So if you go to shelly.com and when you go to partners and verified installers, then you will be able to search and find yourself. Now you can see that I live in Denmark. If I zoom out, I will be able to see all Shelly installers around Denmark. If I zoom in on Copenhagen, you can see Shelly installers in Copenhagen. And you will be able to find yourself on this map and when you have successfully finalized this training program, you will be able to get the bronze uh, status. So this is how it works. Um, let's go back here to the Shell installers map. Let me try to log in with my own information. Be aware that you need to enable two-factor authentication to be able to get your uh, own personal installer code. So I have to open my Authenticator app and to enter my authentication uh, code here. Now I'm logged in and you'll be able to see here uh, uh, QR code and a code. And this code right here is your installer code. So copy this code and go ahead and insert the code inside this document that you are going to hand over to your customer. But also I recommend when you have got the permission, of course, to go to the installation of the customer, go to the settings tab, go to the grand installer access and go and enter your installer code here and press grant access. You can select from 12 hours and up to one month of access rights. 
And now you just press Grant Access. When your customer has given you access, uh, have added your installer code, you will be able to see here in which period you will have access to the account and the customer will be able to see for how long uh, there's a countdown timer here. So how long time is left of the granted ac uh, access. You can also see the name of the installer who have the access here. And there's also a small information icon here. If you press that icon, you'll be able to see more information about the installer company. So you can see the installer code, the email address, phone number, uh, the company name, uh, and also the company address and the website. So the customer already have all the information about you. When you have added your installer code, to the installation then you should go ahead and change the email address so the ownership will be transferred to your customer so scroll a little bit down press on the change email tab here and then enter the customer's email when you have entered the customer's email then you press save and then you have basically transferred the email to your customer be aware that the uh, password will stay the same as before so when you're creating the account for your customer, make sure that it's not one of your personal and secure passwords. Make sure that this is a password that you can hand over to your customer and your customer will be able to change it uh, to his uh, uh, needs or preferred password. When you're done, print out this document or send it by email to your customer, then you have a very nice documentation of the installation. And if you someday will visit the customer again, I'm sure you will, because uh, he will most likely uh, ask you to come and install more silly devices in the future. Then you can ask for this document or you can keep it somewhere. So you have the information about the Wi-Fi and you also have the login information, or at least uh, he can uh, give you access via the installer code. So you can continue adding more silly devices to the installation. And once again, uh, when you give this document to your customer, the customer has easy access to some uh, short getting started videos and also to the Facebook community so he can learn more about Celia and he can have a good start and hopefully become very happy about his new smart home installation. This is all from my side uh, right now. I hope that you enjoyed the training course. I hope you enjoyed the training videos and that you learned a lot. If you want to, you can now go ahead and take the assessment. And when you finalize the assessment, uh, you will get your uh, first Shelly Bronze certificate and you can call yourself Shelly Bronze Installer.